Now it's time to finish the construction of your reciprocating chronometer. You will need your reciprocating chronometer, the hour hand spindle, the black hour hand, the hour hand engraved counterweight, an M4 washer, a steel shaft, your 2mm allen key, the small red gem, and a couple of drops of superglue. Ease the hour hand onto the larger end of the spindle. To avoid the risk of snapping the hour hand if it's a bit stiff, rest the hour hand on a flat surface and push the spindle into it from above. Push the hour hand onto the spindle until it sits against the ridge. Don't glue it in place yet. Move the hour hand around so it points in the opposite direction to the chain hole. Turn the time adjuster on the back of the clock movement in an anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction until the bearing on the cam follower arm is resting at the snail cam's lowest point. Push the steel shaft through the spindle from the chain end. Place the washer on the shaft. With the hour hand pointing upwards, Push the steel shaft into the top centre hole in the clock body whilst lining up the spindle gear's teeth with the curved rack arm's teeth so they mesh. Use something like a screwdriver to push the steel shaft fully into the spindle and clock body. Ease the steel shaft out slightly to make room for the card spacer. Slide this between the back of the spindle and the clock body. It doesn't matter which side of the washer the spacer sits. Now push the steel shaft back against the clock body and gently tighten its grub screw. Ease out and remove the card spacer. In an anti-clockwise, counterclockwise direction, wrap the chain around the spindle until it points in the direction of the grooved bearing. Direct it over the bearing so the weight hangs vertically. Hold the spindle still and move the hour hand around until it points to the digit 1 on the engraved hour display. Move it near the hand's centre to avoid the risk of snapping it. Now push the engraved hour hand counterweight onto the front of the spindle facing in the opposite direction to the hour hand. Don't glue it in place yet. To check if the clock mechanism works, turn the time adjuster on the back of the clock movement in an anti-clockwise, counterclockwise direction to check whether the hour hand moves slowly over to the right until it points to the furthest time readings on the right of the hour display. It should then move back to the left and point to 1, and the AM PM indicator should change. If it doesn't, or gets stuck, check each part of the mechanism freely moves. If not, one of the steel shafts may need loosening, or the pawl hanging from the cam follower arm may need loosening slightly, Alternatively, if the hour hand gets stuck over to the right, the adjustment screw in the middle of the AMPM cam may need loosening ever so slightly. Once you are happy that the hour hand spindle moves freely, you can fix the small gem into its end. I'd suggest using a piece of blue tack or similar to hold the gem whilst you glue it in place. 
Put a couple of small drops of super glue on the back of the gem and holding it with some blue tack, push it into the hole on the front of the hour hand spindle. Hold it in place whilst the glue sets for about 20 seconds. I recommend doing this with the clock standing normally, otherwise any excess glue could run down inside the spindle and stick it to the steel shaft. You'll need an OA battery, the correct time, and the knurled brass screw. Firstly, insert an AA battery into the back of the clock movement. Ensure you insert it the correct way round by following the embossed drawing inside the battery compartment. Now set the time by turning the time adjuster on the back of the clock movement in an anti-clockwise, counterclockwise direction until the hour hand points to the correct time. The hour display shows five minute increments. Adjust the AMPM display by turning its cam anti-clockwise, counterclockwise until it displays the correct setting. Finally it's time to fix the engraved clock movement cover in place. Line it up on the back of the clock and screw it in and tighten the knurled brass screw. Congratulations, you've completed your reciprocating chronometer. Over the first few days of normal operation, adjustments to the direction in which the hour hand points may be required whilst the mechanism gets bedded in. Just hold the hour spindle to stop it from turning and gently rotate the hour hand as close to its base as possible to prevent it from breaking and the counterweight. If the AMPM indicator doesn't consistently show the correct reading, it may be necessary to loosen or tighten the AMPM cam's adjusting screw slightly. If it's too tight, the snail cam follower arm could get stuck at the top of the cam and fail to fall back down to one. Loosen the adjustment screw slightly until it does fall back down. If the adjustment is too loose, the AMPM cam could spin too far as the snail cam follower falls back to its lowest point. If it does, tighten the adjuster screw ever so slightly. After a few days, once you're happy that the hour hand does point to the correct time, you can place a spot of super glue on the joint between the hour hand and its spindle and on the back of the hour hand's counterweight and the spindle, ensuring you move the chain out of the way. It may not be necessary, as both parts should fit quite tightly onto the spindle. Congratulations yet again! Well done for constructing your very own working reciprocating chronometer!